the Dyson versus the Shark. Today, we are going to settle the long debate which styler is better. I am a ride or die for the Dyson Airwrap. This is what I've been using for the past year, but I recently took a trip and borrowed my mom's Shark. When I was styling my hair for a wedding, I was like, wait, this thing styles just like the Dyson. I'm going to style this half of my hair, hair with the Dyson and then this half of my hair with the Shark, and we're just going to compare. Now, I know logistically if we're going to get down to like the voltage, the heat, all that stuff, there's a lot of differences between these two, but today's video is purely about how they style. Let's be honest, this one is $600, this one's $300. So, I mean, if you can save $300, I mean, let's let's just debunk it. Let's just figure it out. So before I style, I love to use the Sol de Janeiro. Which one is this? The Milky Leave-In Conditioner. It hydrates detangles and protects from heat and UV. If you're not using a heat protector on your hair, stop this video now and go get yourself a heat protector and do not style your hair without a heat protector. Let's start there. One thing I found is super helpful before using an air wrap is using a styling cream. It just kind of helps like grip the tool onto your hair a little bit better. I love using the Fakai Brilliant Gloss Multi Styler. You can get this at Ulta. Okay, here we go. So we are going to start with the Dyson on this side. Um, I'm going to attach the blow dryer. So now that my hair is partially dry, you don't want it fully dry, but you don't want it soaking wet. So when you go on with your curler, it's going to be a lot easier. One thing I do love about the Dyson is that you can switch directions of your hair. Um, you can switch directions of the airflow easily and you'll see with the shark, you have to like switch attachments, but it's no big deal. Okay, here we go. So let's start curling. I just kind of like take random pieces when I do this. I don't really have like a specific way I do this. I just kind of like take random pieces halfway in my hair. You always want your curls going the opposite directions. You don't want all your curls facing the front. You want your curls to go that way. So once I have that curl, I let it sit and then I'm just going to pick up more random pieces. I will say, if you do have bangs, I feel like the Dyson is, makes it easy. These bad boys out, and then I just let them sit. All right, so here we are. I've completed the uh, Dyson side. See the back? I don't really know what it looks like, but I hope I got all the curls and I don't have one frizzy piece back there like we're in high school again. But um, I'm gonna let everything sit, and I will do the shark side. Gonna be some competition for the sharky. Okay, so right off the bat, you can tell the dryer nozzles are a little different. Again, not 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 bad, just different. Woo! This got power. I literally think that took one minute. My hair is halfway dry, not fully. We are gonna switch the attachment. This is what I'm talking about is that the Dyson, you just have one thing that you can rotate to switch the airflow. For here, you have two attachments. Um, let's see, wait, left, yeah, yeah. Okay, so again, you want it going, the curl's going away from your face. I believe I have the right one in. Woohoo! We're in business. Again, easy grip. Um, the Dyson, I feel like you're able to like move it up and down a little bit better. This one just kind of like locks. Take that back. You said it's a little bit more like of a tongue though. You guys, this is interesting. So I'm officially done. I've curled both sides. Maybe because this one is set a little bit more, but these are definitely looking full, fuller. But also, I want to give it. I want to give the Dyson the benefit of the doubt that it sat an extra second. Um, but they're both looking pretty damn good. I'm gonna go brush it all out, and we're gonna do the flip in three, two, one. This is what I'm talking about, you guys. There's, I don't really see a difference. I don't. Nobody would notice that this side is the Dyson and this is the Shark. This video is right now only 20 minutes and I've been talking and stopping. So if I wasn't, I feel like this could be done in like 12 minutes. I hope I have the back done, but here we go. Show the back. 
I love to finish with the Kerastase Serum Therapy. Um, I, one time, three years ago, a hairstylist told me to use this and I haven't stopped. It just it helps repair my hair. I dye my hair a lot, so it's kind of dry. Sometimes people say, um, when I tell people I use the Dyson, they're like, my hair doesn't hold in the Dyson. And I do believe because I do highlight my hair, it does have a drier texture. So it does hold a curl. And if you didn't damage your hair like me, I believe like your hair might be a little bit silkier. So um, but I'm also not a hair expert. So, so the final verdict, I, you let me sound, not, how dare I almost say sound off in the comments. So the final verdict is, it's a tie. If we're going solely on style, I'm not talking about the inner workings and everything, and we're just going based on style, these are pretty even. They are even. And this one's 600, this one's 300, so if you wanna to try to get a blowout style for half the price, use the shark. All right, so that is it. There was no winner, but the good news is, very comparable stylers. If you have any questions, let me know, and if there's any other stylers I should try, also let me know. But Thank you for watching and I, I'm gonna go out because my hair is done. Bye guys.